Hello there, welcome to my cha 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 channel. Look what I got today. I got the four, you get four in a box, no porkies, meat free sausage roll, vegan sausage roll. So if you're new to my channel, I do unboxing and food reviews. I'm always honest and blunt. A lot of awesome stuff today, so stay tuned. Really, really cool story time at the end of this review. And so I reviewed this company before. The first thing I reviewed was their steak, mushroom steak, which you definitely need to check out the review for that. Then I reviewed the bolognese. Um, it has wine in it. Definitely check out the review for that. But right now I'm doing this one. So um, before I say anything, I have a Patreon up and running. So if you want to support this channel, there the Patreon link's going to be below the video. And then other things that I might want to share with you. So I'm about also ready to review this item here in a moment. Not on this video though. So again, you need to subscribe because if you don't, you're missing out. Plus it doesn't cost you anything. So um, I almost sold you a surprise. Okay, so what else? We're just going to get right into it, right? My memory sometimes is just... So my roommate already tasted it and he was like, I don't know if you're going to like it. And I said, why? He goes... You'll find out. And I'm like, what is that supposed to mean? He was like, one thing, real. I'm like, real? Like, and I had to read the ingre ingredients, but I was like, what does that mean? Oh my goodness. Did you hear that? Mm, it got a little bit cold. It's really cold here in Texas today. Is that like phyllo dough? Look at that. Hmm. Okay. This is kind of scary. This literally tastes like pork. Like, seriously tastes like pork. Not like a little bit, but like a lot. I haven't had pork in so long. Well, if you're looking for a pork, okay, <laughs> wow. This company blows me away every time. They're out of the UK. I wish companies in America that are vegan wouldn't be like this. First of all, this flaky crust is like a 9.8 out of 10. It has so many. Look at the layers. I want you to look at all the layers. That's like a flaky. And got cold. I should. It's really good. And I should have baked it just a little bit longer. I did notice though when I baked it in the oven, it puffed up. Mm, it's really buttery. Yeah, look at that. Look at the difference. I cannot believe this. This company could make their own pastries. They could make a croissant. Like, this company has blown me away. This is now the third time this company has blown me away. First, they had the steak. And then they had the bolognese. And it has wine in it. you got to check out the review for both of those. It's a very mild sausage, though. There's not a lot of spices going on. But that does taste like pork. Like, I mean, pork, pork. And I'm not talking about, like, kind of, it really tastes like pork. Like, if you're trying to eat vegan salt pork, but you want it to be, taste like pork, like, this might freak a lot of people out, though. On a negative note, if you really, like, don't want pork, you're gonna, this tastes like pork. Not a little bit, like, exactly. It's not too salty. It's a very mild-tasting pork. I can't believe I'm saying that. That is very. I'm not going to go over how flaky that is. That is absolutely blows my mind. Amazing. The crust. Mm, didn't have a lot of flavor. It's like a typical 
I want to say it's like pie crust, which I don't really like pies, by the way. But you know how pie crust is just kind of bland? But it's very buttery. And it doesn't taste like that cheap margarine, like artificial butter. There's quite a bit of ingredients in here, though. I don't know if you can see that. So, before I forget, um, I have I'm so much to share with you. Okay, so with my Patreon, I have an old, old YouTube channel, right? And on that YouTube channel, I have, like, an insane amount. I probably have, maybe, I don't know, 2,000 videos. Or maybe about over, it was over 1,000. It's over 1,000. I'll just say that much. Maybe 1,500. I don't know. But... Every time I go somewhere, I would record it. And so my channel, um, I used to put like really awesome techno music to the, um, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going straight into the story time. Okay. On, on a scale of one to 10, I'm going to give this a solid 9.7 out of 10. I will definitely get it again. It's just, I don't know. The pork thing is like really real, like tasting, and the and I can't get over the flaky crust, like just absolutely amazing. So now I'm going to story time. Um, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna be doing all kinds of stuff with Patreon. I just gotta get the funds to get my computer, um, because I have a lot of like financial things going on with me right now. Um, and that's a whole other story. But anyway, so back to my thing. So I'm going to tell you a story on how me and my roommate had a blast in Mexico. And I actually recorded video of that trip, but that video and a whole bunch of other videos, I could never like make money on it on YouTube. Um, however you want to call it. I don't know what they call it. Well, first of all, you need at least a thousand subscribers before they can consider you, um, to get, to start getting money on with ads on your videos. Um, on my channel, I think I had it for like 13 years and I think I only had almost five or around 500 subscribers. So, I mean, like at that rate, I was never going to make anything on it anyway. In addition to that, I had copyrighted music and so my videos got flagged for copyrighted material. So I wouldn't have made it anyway. But those videos are still there, but they're private and so what I'm saying is, if you support me on Patreon, and I'm not going to, I don't know what yet, what tier I'm going to make it on. And I think the higher the tier, the more stuff you're going to get, obviously, on my Patreon. But I'm about ready to tell you a story about when we went to Mexico. And if you want to see the video of what I'm telling you about, I'm going to upload that to Patreon, like, really soon. Like, probably at or around the time I upload this. And so, um, that's an extra bonus if you want to subscribe to my Patreon. So, let me get to the story. Whew, I got so much. So much is like on my mind. Like, I woke up this morning and I was like, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. I have so many ideas on what I'm gonna do with this channel, what I'm gonna do with my Patreon, because I so deeply appreciate my subscribers on this channel. But I need to also give back to my Patreon subscribers. And so that's what I'm going to do. So after you watch this, if, you are, if you're interested in watching the video of all these awesome places that we went to in Mexico, you might want to go to the Patreon, which is the link is going to be below the video. So let me tell you about our trip to Mexico. So we went to Mexico to Playa del Carmen. We actually, yeah, we went to Playa del Carmen. We were going to go to the other part of Mexico, which I can't remember the name of it. But we, anyway, so anyway, we went to a place called, okay, oh, I'm going ahead of myself again. So we went to Mexico and I wanted to go to a place called Escarlet and it's like a natural like water park. Like it has like cenotes and water that goes through caves and it's just like, it, I'm not really into nature well, I'm more into nature now, but when I was younger, I really wasn't into nature that much. And so, um, like, just thinking about it, it's just like a nature water park. Like, and it's $100 for the whole day. It's like, that's kind of expensive just to see nature. But we went to three, three parks. 
And the first one that we went to was it Adventure Park? It was Adventure Park. You know, I don't even remember now which one we went to first. Oh, that sausage is so, like, strong. So, anyway. <laughs> I should tell you check out the video. That you can access when you support my Patreon. Okay. That crush is amazing. So. What were we going to say? Oh, so. There's three parks. We actually have several. We want to... Xsenses, X Scarlet, and S Adventure. Now I'll leave a link below the video. If I forget, let me know. And so you got you, you gotta hear about the stories. So the X Scarlet one is it's huge. It's it's huge. You go when you get in there, there's different things to do. Like you can go look at the turtles, you can do all kinds of stuff. But what was really amazing is you get in this water. And it's like this emerald green. And I don't know if you want to call it a river or whatever, but it and it's like really slow moving. And <clears throat> you get in the inner tube and you just like go around the park and you have like these structures like stalagmites and and rocks and it's just like comes down, you can overlook. <clears throat> it's just really be beautiful. And they have like a butterfly thing. <clears throat> At the end of the night, they have a show. I'm trying to, maybe I should get back to that one. That one's really, really nice. That one's like more for the whole family, and it's kind of like, I guess you could call it like a outdoor zoo thing because they have animals that you can see and dolphins, and it's right by the beach. Um, and it's just like, it's like a overall like the main park that you'd want to bring your kids to. And um, they have a show at the end, a huge, huge show on Mexican culture and dance and everything, um, which he was more excited about. I wasn't that excited because I wanted to do the other things. But we did see the show. And the only thing I didn't like about that is like we got there early to get seats and we had to sit there a long time before the show actually started. And, um, but the show was good though. And the show was really, really long, except that, you know, if you see the show, I recommend that you see the whole park because this park is huge and it's like beautiful. They have this huge waterfall. Now it's all coming to me. They have this huge waterfall and it's like, it's here and you go like, you walk like underneath it and then you walk around uh, like on the side, like here's the waterfall and then you walk underneath it here and then you walk underneath it behind it. And then you go up and walk underneath it here. And you just keeps going up and up and up. Like really high. And as you get higher and higher, you can look down. It's just, it's beautiful. It's it's just, like you would, you know, like, not to stereotype, but a lot of people think Mexico. It is so beautiful in that area. So we went there, and that's Escarlet. Then we also went to the Adventure Park. The Adventure Park was absolutely amazing, Okay. We went on the zip line and it's like a zip line course. And on the video, you can see me because I'm I got my GoPro and I'm like screaming, like, ah and <laughs> I said a couple of cuss words too, like <gasps> Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. Um but um it's just like you you go up this and it's kind of scary too because you're going up this um these staircases, like rounding staircase. and it's like this uh, tower. <laughs> it takes me forever to think of tower, it's a tower. And I don't know, it just, it just seems like kind of rickety, like it's going to fall over. And you just walk and walk. It takes you forever to get up there. And then you go to the zip line. But as you go to the zip line, you're going down, right? So when you go down to that zip line, then you got to go up even further. And it actually take, and they want to take you even higher every time. So it's like you, you go up and then you go down the zip line. Let's see, you go up, then you go down the zip line, then you go up higher, then you go down the zip line, and then you go up higher, and it's a circuit. And unless you're, like, really in shape, I recommend you start walking and getting in shape before you go here. It is absolutely amazing. And unfortunately, we didn't do the whole circuit because um, I was exhausted. And the crazy thing is my roommate is more physically active than I am, and he was, like, more exhausted than I am. So that was amazing. 
Then we also did the go-kart. With the go-kart, I'll be honest with you, like it's just kind of boring and it wastes your time. Didn't like that. Then they had a boat. The caves there are so beautiful. I mean, so beautiful. Um, we went in a boat. Uh, it's a kayak. And, um, you know, he's behind me. I'm in front. And, like, I don't know, like... We're not coordinating because I'm like, go left and right. Anyway, we just wound up doing like this in the boat and then bumping the wall and then going around and going back the other way instead of forward. So that could probably, they, they even said this, it, it, it ruins a lot of relationships, whether you're married or dating or whatever, because you just like fighting. Um, I recommend you maybe do that in a later time too with the adventure park. I'm still in the adventure park, by the way. So the zip line I already talked about. The kayak in the beautiful, beautiful cave. It's all lit up. I mean, it is, they don't just light it up. I mean, they put up lights and the stalagmites and stalactites and there's water coming down and sometimes dripping down and like moss and stuff. I mean, it's just, I don't know if it's moss, but, and then so, um, on the first park, you get a one-time all-you-can-eat buffet and the food was decent. The adventure park, it's, all day, like you can go to the you can go to the buffet as many times as you want and they're constantly replenishing it all day okay and they also have drink stations and it's not just water like throughout so if you because they want you they keep telling you to like stay hydrated they're they're really the customer service is like really top notch um so there's another one too where you can swim in a cave now i love that a lot you talk about one of the most relaxing experiences i had ever you can actually swim in a cave that is lit up and it is so beautiful and so quiet unfortunately though my roommate didn't get to go with me in that cave because he wasn't feeling good and then we're stressed for time and i had to like run really really quick you could see it all in the video by the way um what else does the park has it has the zip line it has that it has that i think i be might be missing one or one we missed I mean, it doesn't sound like that great when I tell you, but like when you see the video or if we can go there, it's like, whoa. The other part was really interesting. It was called Exensus. And that is supposed to like, like, um, instead of like eye candy, it's like eye candy, touch candy, hear candy, everything candy, right? For the senses. Except for taste, though. The only thing I didn't like about that one is they didn't they didn't provide any food. You had to buy your own food, which we didn't because uh, we ate a, good, a big breakfast before. And then after we left, we ate. That one's really interesting. It's the cheaper one also. It doesn't seem really interesting, but it is. They have like, you go into this pool, right? And you're on the bottom of the pool, but it's completely empty. But above you is the water. Really cool for taking pictures. They also have at this park where um, you're going like, you're going uphill, like you like you're going. It's like a um, like a town, like a Mexican. It's huge. You're like inside the park. You're going to a Mexican town, and it's going uphill. But the water along the sides, especially on the one side, it actually is going up up the hill. Like the water, you you can see it's like the you're going uphill, but the water is going uphill, like along like a brook, and not only that. But instead of you trucking uphill, it's weird. It's like this force is pulling you to go uphill. Obviously, <clears throat> it's going downhill. Of course, the guy there that worked there, he was like, it's neither uphill or downhill. It's an illusion. I was like, but it is going downhill. Otherwise, the water wouldn't flow downhill. He was like, no, it's flat. And I'm like, how could it be flat? That's not, doesn't make any sense. It literally obviously goes downhill. But it does not look like it at all. Like it is, it so tricks with your mind. It is so beautiful. So you go up the hill, and then um, there's these bowls that turn and cling, and it's just I don't know. It's just so like amazing. You, you guys see the video. So there is also a zip line there, but you actually fly. The it like it's on your body, and you can like do like this, like fly like a bird. And at the end, it goes into the uh, the water. Also, the zip line I told you about, a couple of those actually go into the water too. And then two into a cave. And you swim into the cave. Um, this one, though, had like, there was so much stuff at Extensus. It doesn't seem like the nicest one, but 
And my favorite park was the Extensis, then the Explore, and then Escarlet. But Escarlet was still amazing. Like, if we go back to Mexico, we're going to go all three. So let me go back to Extensis. So there's beautiful, beautiful caves that you can go in. And there's this one part. There's so much there, though. There's this one part where you go in this dark cave. I don't recommend taking your shoes off. If you have flip-flops, uh, first of all, I recommend going to this park with... I recommend going to all the parks with water shoes because you're going to get your feet wet, okay? Well, they taught me to get into this cave that's completely dark, and they, they said take your shoes off. Something told me leave your water shoes on. Well, my roommate went through the cave, got out, and waited on me for a good 45 minutes. I was still in the cave. The cave was completely dark, and you talk about senses. You can hear. You can smell. The only thing you can't do is taste. But it's weird. It's like you feel these rocks and it's like cold and it gets warm and you can hear a brook water going over your feet. And then you go upstairs and you can't see. It's completely, I mean, literally nothing. Okay. Then you go through like a jungle and you can hear birds and the world, the wind whirling. This is one part where it literally felt like I was on a cliff. And I was going to fall. Like, it was crazy. After you get out of that, it plays that song. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. They play that song. And it's so beautiful. And they got misters. Like, with, I think it's like, I think it was Jasmine and Lavender. Um, and it, you're, you're inside of a cave. But it's like inside, outside cave. Because they have these huge, like, openings with these flowers and it's like it's like a picture but but it's man-made it's like I'm sorry it's it's nature mixed with man-made um oh it's so beautiful it, it like bright it would bring anyone's tears to their eyes because you went through that darkness to feel like what it would be like to be blind and then but my roommate he was like where have you been I've been waiting out here forever I think he said like 45 minutes or something I was like I had to go slow he goes you going that slow um, well, they have like cameras in there, like night vision. And they told him, yes, he's still in there, but he's like taking his time. Cause I like, cause I was scared. Like, I didn't know I was like a step on something. I'm like really sensitive with like scared that my feet is going to like get cut or something like that, you know, on, I don't know, not that there'll be glass in there, but if you go there, I recommend that you wear water shoes. Well, I'm, I'm not, you have to wear water shoes. Okay. Wear water shoes through all the parks. And when you go through that cave, make sure you have your water sneakers on. Okay. Then they have another part where you float. It's a beautiful cave. They're all beautiful. Okay. I keep saying it's a beautiful cave, but it's like, as you go through this whole thing, it's like the caves get better and better. It's salt water and it's kind of like the dead sea and you're laying it down and you float and the it, the water moves extremely slow. So you kind of, there's people behind you, you got to kind of push yourself. But it like winds around and there's light. I have it all on film, by the way, and pictures too. And it has these lights. Maybe I'll show the pictures with the first tier and the video with the, the higher tier on Patreon. So um, you go through it and uh, and then you go through a mud bath. And same thing. And then... Um, then there's the shower. Well, actually, it's these buckets. You you pull these buckets and water go on you. And then it's a shower. And then it goes to a really cool cave. The lights, like the 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 it goes it goes through this cave, but the you you'll see it on the video. The sprayers like spray you like intense spray, so you'll get all the mud off of you. But it's not like an intense spray, it's over with. I mean, you walk through this cave. It's a while. And the lights, like it's like green and emerald and blue. And then, I mean, it is just so beautiful. And then after you get out that, there's this big opening. And these trees actually, they're trees, but they're like in midair. They're like held together with these like, um, what is it? Cables, like metal cables, I guess. And they're in like pots. But. They're like above you and you look up in these, these trees. It's just like magical. And they have hammocks and it's all cut out of the bedrock or whatever it is, cave or whatever. And the, and when we were there, they were playing like Native American flute music. You guys see the video. It is so relaxing and just so amazing. I mean, like I was blown away. 
And they have other stuff too there. That, I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. So I told you about the Adventure Park. I told you about the Extenses. I told you about Excarlet. There, though, was expensive. He got a chocolate bar. It's very, very touristy in the touristy areas. Like, the touristy areas are very touristy in the fact that it's expensive. He paid, like, I want to say $20 for a bar of chocolate. And I read the ingredients. I was like, and it was already too late. He had already bought it. And I told him, I was just like, I don't think this is going to be good. He's like, well, it might be because I've had like a lot of artisanal chocolate. Not a lot, but I've had artisanal chocolates over the years. I try to treat myself like once every few months if I can, or at least twice a year. So like an artisanal, like higher in uh, pricey chocolate. But I looked at it and I was like, I don't, I don't think it's going to be good. It wasn't good. And there they had like, and I record that too. There's a mall and it's like indoor outdoor mall. That's really nice. Um, but the stores are kind of expensive. Um, they have massage uh, there. People that will massage you and stuff, which reminded me a little bit of Bali, but Bali was nicer on that. I think it was. They also have a vegan restaurant that's vegan and, and also raw. I had a raw vegan pizza there, and he had a beet burger, which he didn't care for. He said it was very earthy. And they also have like cashew cheese there and stuff like that. We ate there only one time. I wanted to eat there more. Then we ate this other vegan place. And I had tacos. And they actually put flowers. Like like a pretty flower in the field. Like a flower in the taco. Um, I think it's fried though. But I can't remember the name of the, the, the flower. That's also on video. So yeah. Check out my Patreon on that. And what else? Trying to think. What else? What else? What else? Yeah, our, our hotel, the beds were like extremely hard. I, I had to check it. It's like, I don't think this is a mattress. It's that hard. I've never seen a mattress like that. I mean, it was like extremely hard. And we had a swimming pool um, on the roof of our hotel. And the idea and the pictures was like, wow, that's... But unfortunately, like, I got in the pool and... You know, I hate to say it, but it's like a it was like slum area that we were at. It was it was kind of expensive because they had houses. They were uh, they were condos, apartment condos. They were selling in there for like a half a million dollars, and I'm like, a half a million dollars like for Mexico in this area, but it's because it's in a tourist area. But even though it was in a tourist area, it was kind of on the I wouldn't say extremely slummy, but it it, it was kind of run down. I'm just like. If I was to spend a half a million dollars on a condo, I would not spend it in this area. Um, the food, eh. Those two restaurants were good, but the rest of the food we ate, it was just, you'll see it in the video. It was, um, it was, it was, mm. um, the food though, oh, and then we did go to, oh, where he wanted to go, I wanted to go to Tulum. Because there's a lot of vegan and vegetarian and yoga and hippies and Buddhism and just all that stuff in Tulum. And I wanted to go there. Plus, they have this beautiful, like, ocean beach area that's there. But he wanted to go to... It's a famous... It, it looks like an Egyptian pyramid. I'm sorry. It's a Mayan... It's one of the famous Mayan uh, temple things, right? It was interesting. I mean, we got there. I'm just like looking around like, this is it? I mean, like, okay. Like, I've seen Hindu temples neater looking or whatever. But then when the guy was telling the story, that was really interesting. Um, how they, like, sacrificed people and the senyote, which was really sad. That wasn't, well, sad. But they didn't, like, they were dying because they didn't realize that, like, there's dead people in the water and you're drinking the water. I guess they weren't too bright. I don't know. Back in the day. Um, there's a lot of vendors around there, though, like, around that py uh, pyramid. And the entry, I don't remember how much we paid, but I know it was a little bit pricey to go in. And there's, like, tons of, and they all sell the same thing. And that's another thing, too. They'll tell you, they'll be like, um, T-shirt, $5. Or um, anything on this table, one dollar, but it's one Mayan dollars. It's not one American USD dollars, 
And I don't know what the ratio is right now, but when you added it up, I think it was maybe like, don't quote me on this. I think it was like three or four dollars American for one Mayan, or maybe it was five or whatever. So when they said only one dollar, you're like, only one dollar, everything on this table, a t shirt for only five dollars? Like, wow, that's a good deal. Yeah, that's where they get you because then when it's time to check out, they're like, it's Mayan dollars. And the people are really, really short. Really, really short. This one guy tried to sell me a t-shirt and I thought he was a kid. Um, I was like, you know, I, I, I looked at him and I felt bad because I thought he was kind of cute. I was like, he's kind of cute. And I was like, oh my God, it's a kid, Jimmy. What? You know, it's like, oh my goodness, right? I was like, I don't believe that. And then like, I, I, I caught on, like he went over to his wife. Like he, he's an adult, like, because they're so short there. And, um, that's interesting. Um, but they just, I don't know. It, it's kind of sad because like, I don't know if they have that sad face because they're trying to pull your heartstrings or what, but him and just everyone else, even the women, just everyone, like, it's like, I wanted to buy so much stuff and like give them money because I felt bad for them. But my roommate is like, really like they're making good money off the tourists. So I'm like, you know. But, um, I don't know that one guy, the one I'm telling you about, he just had a sad look. I was like, he looks so sad. Um, I did wind up buying a t-shirt, but not from him, from someone else earlier and a couple other things. I just didn't want to keep spending money. And then after we left there, we went to a town for some reason, it reminded me of Germany a little bit growing up in Germany. I don't know where, I don't remember why exactly, but I had a little bit of a panic attack because somehow we got separated and, and my roommate went to this beautiful church. I know it's beautiful because he showed me the pictures. I, I really wanted to go. I think it's like a Catholic church. And so I wish I would have went with them. But I kind of got sidetracked. He went one way. I went the other. And you're supposed to be at the the bus at a certain time. Otherwise, I'll leave you. And I got scared. So I like right around the bus. We got on the bus early, early, early. And you know, they'll say like, be back in 30 minutes, but then the bus won't leave till 45 minutes later. So they wait another 15, 20 minutes, which is good for the tag along ones that just, you know, take forever. But I, I kind of got bummed out because I, I didn't really get to see that much of that town. But what I liked about the town, there was like a park right in the center and they had vendors in that park selling ice cream and stuff. I don't know. It just, it reminded me of Germany. Maybe the concept of seeing vendors in a park because I did see that when I was a kid in Germany. Um, what else did we do in Mexico? Oh, we went to Senote. Oh, that was another thing. Oh, let me tell you about that. Oh, boy. This is where my conservative nature almost got me killed. And maybe I should leave it for another video. Or tell you and then also put another video for the people that haven't stayed this long. So, we went to the Senote. You're supposed to go to Senote, then eat. But we ate first and then went to the Senote. And, uh... I don't think they're too happy about that, but whatever. We we paid the price to do it, right? The food was really good, by the way, there at that buffet. It was Mayan food. Um, we had these beans that were just in these rice. Oh, so good. And these grilled veggies, and oh, it was so good. So, um, so uh, he was taking pictures, and I wanted to get into the water of the Senote. Wore a life jacket. You have to rent them. I don't remember. It was probably only 50 cents. Or maybe it was, it was under $3. But my cheap butt was like, I don't need a life jacket. So I had my GoPro in this hand. I'm recording myself. Because like I said, you can see the video of our trip. And I'm recording myself with the GoPro. And I'm trying to swim with one hand. Like, and I can't swim. I have to doggy paddle. But, I can, but, but with two hands, I can keep myself afloat. Well, I had went way, I had swum way out there. And I was just getting tired with one hand. So I had to like grab the other hand and do this way. And that was kind of hard to like and do that, you know? So I kind of went under a couple of times and I was getting exhausted and I looked behind me. I'm like, I don't think I can swim back. And part of me almost let go of that GoPro because I thought to myself, if you go under and drown, you're going to lose a GoPro anyway. And you're going to, you might die. And the water was cold, too. Like, pretty cold. Well, I don't speak Spanish. And I had the GoPro. And I was trying. I was like, hey, take my GoPro from me. Take my GoPro. And they didn't. They were like, huh? 
And I was like, took my GoPro for just a minute. And they're like, maybe he wants us to take a picture. And I'm like, just take a second. I was like, because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to explain it to them. I can't. And they don't understand. So the, the one guy and his wife, he took the GoPro. And she was trying to show him, like, how maybe press a button or something. And they couldn't get it to work. I'm like, they don't understand. So they just recorded me. Like, they held it. And I was like, thank you. And I'm just like, I'm like, just one moment. And they're like, okay. And I'm trying to catch my breath and stuff. And I was like, okay, I think I'm okay. So then I take the GoPro and uh, I, I swim back and it, it was pretty, it was for me, it was pretty scary. Um, and that's one of my problems is, you know, I try to be conservative with money because I grew up so poor and I've had a lot of losses in my life. I've said on this channel many, many times. Um, and that, yeah. Um, what else? We also drank some liquor there. They wanted to sell us a liquor with me and my roommate on the bottle as if, like, we made it. But it was, like, ridiculously expensive. And I told my roommates, I don't think we can take that on the plane. It's glass and it's alcohol. And we might have to, like, have pay extra to put it, like, the check-in baggage. Um, we, we flew, like, a cheap airline to where it was cheap. But then if you wanted them to, uh have your luggage like under the plane or whatever we have to go around the luggage carousel to get it it's like extra i think it's like a hundred dollars or something so we didn't get the alcohol and that was that was okay what else happened um i hope i didn't leave anything out but like i said if you want to see the video i'll probably post pictures on my patreon um and then the video um, I don't know what tier I'll put it on. Maybe if someone can, like, recommend something in the comments on how I'm going to do that. I'm not sure. So that's my review. Um, until next time. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, don't forget to check out the review coming up for this. I have so much to share. But until next time, I hope you have an awesome day. And if you stayed this long... That means it, it, it just means so much to me. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Because this is like an outlet for my depression. And amongst other things. So, I hope you have an awesome day. I truly hope you have an awesome day. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.